Hi, What's guys. up, people? We're back. We're back. Yes. The James and Ori show. Um, do we even need to introduce ourselves again? You already know it's James. Exactly. And that is James, and this is Ori. I think we are fine with that. Yes. Um, today we have a series of, as always, series of stories. This time, the first one is about the man of. The, is it the man of the woman? Paul <laughs> <laughs> Well, man of the moment. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's not quite the man of the moment, but I think his new girlfriend is probably the girl of the moment. I mean, it's, I think. it's been it's been on on what's it called in the mouth of on the mouth of probably most people on social media. I mean, recent time we know what happened already when he announced or unveiled his <laughs> new <laughs> girlfriend. Unveiled, like saying, unveiled like his new girlfriend. Yes, like just took off the veil. There you go. What's that girl's name? <laughs> Ivy, right? Ivy, yes. So and then everybody was just went <coughs> boom, 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 guns and blazing. But um, basically, um, he he came out on his own. He did like a live, a live yeah. thing where he was now sort of talking about the relationship and sharing that um, he himself and Anita had been separated for four years. Um, four years, and then he just thought it was right time for him to move on with the new girlfriend. But it's the same way that we're saying that. Four years ago, a lot of people didn't know that he had been separated for four years. The same way that I feel like this IV, unveiling IV, I yeah. mean, he had probably been dating IV for over a year or something. And it just might have been six months. Uh -huh, and then just unveiled her recently. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, now, one of, these, one of the um, back and forth we had um, on the live show on this thing was that I on actually, yeah, on, sh on radio, I thought that um, Paul and, and Anita had broken up or they, they announced not like they announced it i mean but it came out public a while back that they had um they were on the path to divorce or more or less that they had broken up or separated that's, that's what james is saying i that's think, what, what, saying, I think yeah. what came out was that they had a rough patch and nobody knew what was going to happen after the fact that he's claiming now that it was a divorce that they had for the past four years i think that's a very funny story because Maybe i remember question. Maybe maybe it was maybe separated. Maybe you know that, how yeah, that's some people just say he's saying um, he's saying the divorce by no separation. But means the, yes. But we also remember now. I think when the earlier this year or maybe it was last year, I can't remember when exactly. There was that incident of the wife moving to the US. That was not something yes, that we now. wait now. That was not something that we heard four years ago. That was something that we heard recently, last year or this year. And then a few weeks after, if not even this, we now saw him and the kid. I think it was taking the kid from school, I think in the US or something. Yes. And that's what we now saw after. So when that happened, it was it felt at least to me who saw it at the time, I felt like, oh, maybe they had got seen back together. So for him to now claim that oh they've been divorced for the past four years, I feel like he's been very economical with the truth. And he's trying to make people look like we are I mean, I didn't say that it doesn't concern me technically. But people have been commenting about it online. He can't make them look like they are unreasonable. I do not think they are reasonable, to be honest. And I feel like part of the thing is because Paul is a public figure, and as we know now, online heroes will say what online heroes need <laughs> to say about this particular instance. I'm, for like I said, if I said this again on air, uh, on radio, I said, you know what? For me, the person I'm more impressed with, with all of in all of this is that girl called Ivy. I just think she's incredible. <laughs> you know, the fact that I've seen some of the TikTok she's done specifically. It looks to me to be one addressing the fact of her relationship and two poking people who seem to be making all kinds of comments about her and um and Paul. Paul online. I just like it. The thing gives me so much. I feel like you know what? This is the exact energy that Nigerian Oversabi people and Amibo people deserve. Somebody who is not going to shrink and start running and hiding away from the public because of what they are saying about her. But she's like, you know what? It is true. This is my face, and I shall make <laughs> fun about it. One, I saw one video where she was saying that people keep sending her stuff to take to her to her boyfriend or to her man or something. Yeah. And when she listens to the stuff songs, like what? She, no, people keep sending her songs now. Okay. And then she listens to the song, and the song that was played was the one very terrible, <laughs> terrible okay, song. Okay, okay. The terrible sounding song. The fact is, she's making a point now that now that people feel like she's dating. Oh, yes, so they want yeah, to like, oh, exactly, 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 yes, exactly. That this is what we have done, and then the song she was playing was a very terrible song. Mm. I just felt that you know, it was just so for me, it was just so funny. Like, you know what? I like this energy that this girl is giving out because, yeah, people make I think people have been so, people so are very unkind. The trolling oh, uh. is now trolling, yeah, exactly. The yes, the trolling, exactly. Yes, you get so I feel like it's such a great dynamic to have. So, let's quickly look at um, you know, celebrity breakups or. 
especially when it comes to marriages. Yeah. Um, I mean, because even the way, even with the way they are breaking up here and there, <laughs> we are still God. getting <laughs> situations <laughs> where the pandemic. people are still getting engaged to get into the same marriage. I mean, right. in the past 10 years, so I say mm -hmm. 10 years, okay. if, well, I mean, we can count a good number of celebrity breakups or marriages. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we from, can. What's that girl's name? Um, the one from Tinsel that married and Chris Sato. Um, Dami Lola. Dami Lola Dipite. We've, we've had a good number. I mean, a lot yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot of, a lot of breakups have been for the past years. Yes. A lot, a lot. I guess. A lot, a lot. So, I mean, I just it. said it. We can probably count like 20. Yeah, so if you sit down and start counting, you understand? Yeah, but I think, yeah, and you know, this is why people, I see some comments online. People are saying that the whole idea of marriage is scary and people are not going to marry. I'm like, and people are going to saying that marriage is going to, is going to die or whatever. And I'm like, it is a big fat lie, you know. I make this point. I mean, this is not a this is not a great comparison, yeah. but let me still make it. I say this thing about when people were saying that I think when the Oscars so white here or the Grammys, whatever, where people are saying that there's injustice in Grammys and Oscars. Mm. True, I feel the exact same way. And people, but pe people are taking it for a next step and say, you know what, <clears throat> these events will at some point crumble and no longer be relevant. And I'm like, it's just not going to happen. You know why? People since when they were like one year old, two year old, three year old, four year old, mm -hmm. I've been giving speeches in front of the mirror trying to say, you know what, I like when to take the academy, academy, yeah, 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 yeah. Get whatever. Those people, if they get into the music industry, by the time they are like in their twenties and thirties, it's something that they want to win. Yes. You know, to tell them that they are what they're looking for since they were kids is invalid. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So I think the same thing too with marriage. People since they were they've been playing with boy and boy and girl toys. And getting them married uh, mm. unofficially mm. in their homes, you now you now grow up because one celebrity broke up. You now think that they will now say they will not get married. It is a big fat lie. Marriage is forever. So let me quickly. Um, so I'm one of the people who is still in doubt. Yeah. Or there's one of people who are still in doubt that um, Basketball and Elsie. Oh, you are in doubt. Are no, no. Yes, no. How are you in doubt? This, so, this I don't know why. How is Jim so, thinking? How so is it? How? I've not seen any other. You see the way Basketball out came out to. Yes, put that statement. Yes. But um, and it's a joker. It can be funny. How it can, can it be? How can that be a joking. joke? Because Shay Shay Law has done that before. Problem. Remember Shay Shay Law? I don't care about Shay Law. Shay Law has done the same thing before, and it was a joke. So I'm just feeling like I don't think. Okay, do you have any common friend or any other place where we can verify this fact? Because no, we don't. I feel like. Why is Basimans was not good enough for you? Who else is going to verify it other than the man himself? Like, you know, he might just be joking. How can he just be joking? Did you read the statement? How? Ah, wait, you're talking so, about somebody. Wait, wait, wait. I keep saying this thing. Mm. You, somebody is going to be joking about you. Good. By the way, one of us here is married. One of us is not married. This one here is married. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, James. Is there anything that can make you come out in public, knowing that you have children who probably, if you're a public figure, there are people who are going to make comments about your marriage. If it's a joke, is it a prank? Calm yes, I will. Now. How long will it take for you to come and tell people that it's that it's a joke? Do you see that Baskin has deleted that post? Of course he's going to delete it now. That's what I'm saying. He's not going to keep it. Why would he keep it there forever? Too, because right after that post, he now started promoting the show the show that we will be doing in London in London or what's it called? Or wherever. Baskin Mount has been doing shows for three million years. Why is it his thirteen year old or whatever marriage that he's going to use as his calling card in twenty twenty two? Make it make sense to me. Like I'm really hoping that it's not true, Shai. So good. Now he has said the truth. Hope. Believe me. I think before people come out in public say these things, they've tried all they can. I, rem I remember 2017 or 2018, his wife put out a post then. I don't know if this is connected to it, so I'm just saying this is in a public space already. Mm. His wife put up a post some about side chicks who are attempting or trying to like take over people's marriages. You get it was i don't know what it was about nobody knows what it was about but something that she put up on social media to my mind if you're into the business of like drawing connections between stuff you can probably draw a straight line between a wife making that kind of post in public to a few years down the line a divorce mm. so we do not know what the circumstances are but i'm entirely sure that there is no way basketball to come out to make a joke about his situation if tomorrow somebody comes out to say it's a joke, believe me, me or personally, I will say it is a lie. What has happened now is that because it came into the public, certain people who, of course, do not want the breakup have tried to see what is possible. Although I believe that privately, people try and try and try before they come and announce it publicly. But I also think that once things have become public, certain other people now know about it, they now try to do so. So maybe that's what will happen. But to my mind, 
that bit of news about and that note he put up on social media is a hundred percent true this, this next story we are heading towards marriage this time hopefully i think right yeah yes, she should yes um the nollywood actress um recently put up a post um announcing i think she said a special gift or something yes and she and had a yeah, photo she was, her she was yeah or a ring she was facing the yeah. camera while her groom to be was in her arms but backing the camera and according to this comedian, hey, i feel like the head of that guy he looks like to me he has <laughs> gone to investigate the head and he discovered as well i was investigating see here uh, i zoomed zoom zoom i went to um timini's page because i just told her this head looks like timini's head i went to timini's page to, to go and scan through nothing connected nothing connected i went to a um, a lot of old posts to just just connect 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 here and there even to a petty post the guys that were in the bed, they, I mean, there were a lot of actors, but there was one particular guy that uh, was wearing like white overall, like like she was. And I was but suspecting that guy. I mean, the guy is not an actor. Yeah. I don't know the guy. I'm not sure the guy is an actor. And I was suspecting that guy. I said, ah, can it be this guy? But the way, you know how the way she hugged that, that very post? Yes. The the height. I have only said that to you. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, with the, the that person's height, not the one I saw in that um, but the birthday one was way taller than this one. So, it, it might not be that particular guy. But I mean, show sure, was there. Just show us the best Yeah, yeah I saw, like we're well, getting married. Goes, we cannot hide this person forever. I'm just sure. Yeah, I was there. quite. I don't know. I'm. I'm not sure why she hid the face because it seems such a peculiar thing to do when you're announcing like a an engagement. Why are you hiding? You can hide your boyfriend for a long time. I understand boyfriend. That's very common. But like uh -huh. an engagement, why are you hiding? Although this is not unheard of. What's her name? The stylist or designer. Um, Tony Lawani, I think. Yeah. Tiana yeah, 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 yeah. Empire. For the, for, the, for the longest time, her husband was wearing a mask. Uh, on his then boyfriend. Was it? Then boyfriend. Uh, of course, they both from they both from, both from, But even after yes, they got married. That's the thing. She, yeah, was thing but was then we were already. We no, now, now I think. I don't know if he's still hiding the face, but mm. now we know who he is. Yeah. You know, but the point of the matter is that while they were married, he still was wearing that mask for quite some time. Mm. So I guess none of the people are actresses are giving, or none of the people are giving us another trend. Another trend. I mean, just another trend. Like, you know, we had, the, yeah, I feel like you should be showing the person's face so, because you don't know why the person is married somewhere. <laughs> You're not going to be hiding, hiding, hiding. Then but, that day, boom. But here, yeah, but this is actually this was actually the case with the. Um, Tiana thing actually mm -hmm. because apparently the guy was said to be married to someone, someone else, else and then so whether she knew whether she don't know but she was she was have known for him to have been wearing a mask for like quite a while <laughs> so I don't know if it's the same thing with uh, with Omar uh, no maybe not actually. maybe not but uh, yeah but I just that's why I feel like, like it was, it was just you'll be surprised just boom was it Timini yeah surprise I do not think Timini <laughs> is ready for that kind of like a uh, it's a big move. I don't know that Timini is in the... Well, I don't know Timini personally. So I don't I, know I, I can't tell. I mean, I don't know really. I'm just Whatever saying that the, the, yeah. the, the, the way the... I know you're looking. Yes, I know your head, I know your, your head investigation. <laughs> this man has been doing head investigation. So I don't know if that's the case. But I just thought it was very peculiar for somebody to be announcing an engagement to somebody else mm. and the potential for marriage, which is what an engagement is anyway. And then you no are face, not yeah. showing the face of your beloved. It feels to me like an interesting I think you should be showing You make. know, back in the day, even till now, yeah. I feel like some people still do it, or the conventional parents will still do it, where if you come and introduce a girl to yeah. your parents, they will go behind you and investigate, investigate. investigate to know more about the person. Yeah, the so you seem to apply yeah, by the style. So you need to let us know. Let the public know so that we can tell you that, ah, this guy where they come from back here, they come to one but, but, but here's the thing. I think do you think there's a part of it that's like you know that this man has certain baggage but you love him still and you would rather reveal his identity when nobody can do anything about, about it. it as opposed to like before so if you know he has some kind of baggage and you let people know who exactly he is then from now you have to deal with all of the nonsense comments from now up until the day you guys decide to get mm. hitched if however the photos or videos get leaked or they show up at the time of the wedding or after the wedding at that stage not anybody can about it i'm know, ready i'm ready a wife i'm ready his wife you know that thing, fine. Oh, so maybe you know that thing for some celebrities um who are and or you know who are dating people that are not celebrities mm -hmm. they love some of those people that don't really want to be in the limelight with you do your thing they don't want to be, they want to be like 
you know tied into your whole story because once your face is now look at what's happening with ivy of um Paulo Koye, Koye's girlfriend yeah okay yeah she, she was a like, nobody nobody yeah, but that's yeah but, but that's the thing but that's partly because um, what's it called? Oh, people knew her by the way. I think she was a model or something. And she no. also has a TikTok. No, people knew her. People knew her. Okay. Because I know that the first time I saw it, it comments in the, on the media, whatever that I saw mm. it, and people were like, ah, is this not this person's model? I saw that a lot. Like okay. more than 20 comments, people saying okay. that. But anyway, uh, away from that, the thing is, then do you need to do a photo of that format? I remember that back in the day, not back in the day, people still do it. What they normally do when you get engaged or when somebody puts a ring on it is that. If you're not showing the event, Gongo, mm. you might just show the finger. The guy's hand? Finger. And I said yes. Yes. No, not the guy. Oh, not the guy. Just put, yeah. You, okay. you, you, I mean, it's, it's someone who missed me, so you know it's yeah, 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 yeah. You just put your whatever, take a photo of it and say, hey, I said yes, or he asked or something like that. Everybody instantly knows. Mm. But a lot of is very dramatic because the man is in the photo, but he's not in the photo. Anyway, I know I know more of me kind of personally, so maybe I should go and ask her. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I just want to say it was a very yeah, yeah. I, I think, think good oh, so, so yeah. Course, I mean, yeah. away from the idea of like this dramatic thing she's doing with her potential groom, I think um, I think I first noticed more of me in on Lottery, which was a film um, yeah. by Ebony Life mm. showed on. It was a, one of the first no, um, Netflix originals mm. um, in the country, and I think that film. I think the major act, the major actress, not I think, of course, the major actress was Sharon Oja. Mm. But I felt like Amomi was the person who was the more, um, what's the word? Uh, that film for me announced Amomi's um, prowess, okay, and competence as an actress. Mm. That was the film I saw. And I was like, oh, actually, this girl was she like a supporting actress. Oh, yes, yeah, she was kind of supporting, okay. you know. But she was so good that, to my mind. I just couldn't take my eyes off her whenever she was on the screen, even if okay. she was not the lead. Character, she was okay. playing the lead character, but mm. just she was so 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 good, you know, in that film. So yeah, so I've <clears throat> so I respect the girl when it comes to like um, her craft. I've seen like one or two other of us in several other projects. I have not been super. I've still not been super convinced as I was that first time. Mm -hmm. But I also know that of course, if she gets like a decent script, mm -hmm. a decent material, maybe a great director as well, she would be able to like get there. So mm -hmm. among me, as you probably know big fan because I wrote about Oluturi at the time and I specifically mentioned her as the actress who to my mind was the more spectacular um, performance performer yes in, in the film so okay I'm a fan moving, moving on <laughs> um what, what what else are we talking about yes um yeah we take a little bit of a dive into the great America where Whoopi Goldberg who everybody knows from Sisters Act um Funny, sorry, this is a very funny, this is a very just an unusual side. But mm. you know, recently I was in Saudi Arabia and Antonio Manderas, the actor, was mm. um, doing like he had this one on one interview with one of the person at the festival. <laughs> and um, I remember when I was walking towards, I think later that evening, I was talking to a British journalist and she was saying to me that, oh, that, oh, that she was at the Antonio Banderas session and mm. she was like, ah, Puss in Boots is in the building. Puss in Boots is the animation mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what's his name but the Bandera, was, Bandera oh, yes. is the person who is playing yeah. who is voicing the Puss mm. in Boots itself mm. and I was thinking to myself that wait oh how is it possible that in 2022 the person the character people I I, I with this lady was identifying Antonio Banderas by mm -hmm. was Puss in the Boots this man did as I says this man did oh, Des that Desperado things. and I remember that growing up um Desperado was like such a big oh, was a big deal big deal you know to oh. us how is it possible that I, if i had to ask her like wait how old are you because i couldn't believe it that somebody so exactly the point so i think in boots. yes it, it has to do with where she's coming from because you know how it is <laughs> you you can only connect to what you to know what you know exactly yes. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and that's what I, yeah I was just connected. honestly i was just stunned by it like wait <laughs> not on Desperado it is Puss in Boots mm. cartoon that you call my guy this great guy Puss in Boots anyway I said that because I, get, I just I just mentioned Sister's Act and I think the Sister's Act 2 or something was in the 90s and it was like 1992 if I remember clearly mm. but anyway for me just like so that's what that's what I think of Whoopi well, I'm sure there are people who will be thinking of Whoopi Goldberg somebody who is in one of these recent maybe she was in this film too uh, recently the people who think of her like somebody who is always on the view. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. You know, or I think when she's on, she's on the view, which is a TV um, show on mm. in the US. So the people think about, but me, I think of her uh, as somebody who was in that nineties classic Sisters Act. Anyway, so yeah, so 
Sometime in January, she said something about how the Holocaust um, was not about race. Um, it was about, um, what's it called? It was about man's inhumanity to man, not about race. And that was like a big fat problem at the time. And she apologized. They suspended her from the view for like two weeks. And then she came back and everything. Sorry, and real then, quick. The Holocaust, by the way, I mean, for the older ones, you, you just might know already. Um, but for the younger ones, the Holocaust was... Um, one of the, I think it was the Nazi soldiers, the Russian soldiers. No, 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 no. German, sorry, German. the German soldiers. Sorry, the German soldiers. When the how were the, the way they killed and the way they treated a lot of Jewish people back in the day. So I think it was yeah, during yes, the war. It's kind of yes, kind of war. Perspective, it, was yeah, like yeah. it was like a very was <laughs> very sad. A very um, it was like when you think it's about like, well, slavery. Yeah. Um, yes, know, one, of the, one of the major it's, tragic episodes yes, in human that, history. It's like Hiroshima, you know. I mean, Hiroshima might be worse, but just something connected to how. Let's, let's, let's not compare them because that's another big, that's another yeah, big one like, yeah. But you know, but something that it, it, it might be difficult to for those people that were. And anyway, you guys can just Google it. It's all over the place. Exactly. So you can just go and watch Hitler's list, like ninety three, mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg. Anyway, yeah. Um, what's it called? So she said that at the time, and then she apparently everything was fine. But recently, she was asked again about the subject, and then she brought it back, and she said she was she was kind of saying that she doesn't really know why people were so <clears throat> angry about her comments that mm. she made back in January. Anyway, once again, another round of wahala, and now she's had to again start to explain herself, apologizing again, all over, all over again. So, you but know? Go going back to what she said at the yeah. time, mm. so what really would have caused, or what may have caused that? Um, backlash then was the fact that um, she wanted to generalize it. She wanted to simplify the the incident. So she said um, that whole uh, uh, incident was man's inhumanity to man. As against people wanted her to say no, it was wickedness of the German soldiers to, to the Jewish, the Jewish race, people, the, the Jewish, Jewish race. race. You know now which also brings us to the to the to the i think i don't know if this was one of our points but i think a writer somebody said that the, the person assumed or you know uh, that even the jewish that there's still the argument whether being jewish was a race or, or a like religious, a religion or stuff, yes. um, you know religious connected and yeah yeah she actually people. was saying yes that even amongst jews that they are still like they have this argument the argument whether yeah. it's a religion or whether it's like a race it shouldn't matter is that who knows uh, so, so, anyway. always, I'm just saying that for me personally, uh -huh. you know, maybe some people will say, Oh, because I cannot connect, or because I do not understand, or that I cannot, you know, relate personally. Yeah. But I actually thought it was, I, I would have agreed, I would have thought it was okay to think that it was man's inhumanity to man, to man you know. But then it also brings us to this is scenario of Black Lives Matter. You know, when Black Lives Matter became, you know, like a global phenomenon, so, so, so to speak, uh -huh. um, in 20. 20. Yeah. Um, some people were now saying that, well, can you include included that it's not just about Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter too. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> Lives Matter too. Yeah, he was. That, he did that one this year, but Kanye was just being crazy. Don't mind Kanye. I feel like the more yeah, I'm important because to be honest, this is also a story that connects in a way to yes. Kanye actually, who is of course on the news over his own whatever with the Jews as well. I think there's just a lot of you can't say this, you can't say that in the media and clearly Whoopi has a certain thought or belief process you know that she even if even after she apologized you can tell that she has thought about it and are thinking about it hasn't particularly changed Change. however because of the backlash and you just don't want the world out there you just apologize and let the thing go you know but I think she was caught off guard this interview where she said that thing exactly and, and it came back up again because that's what's in her head you know but to me, I feel like this is where the love and hatred relationship with Kanye comes in. Kanye in that exact same position, kind of, because funny, it's almost a very similar position that they are both in. Mm. Kanye is like, well, I said what I said. I'm not going to come and say I did not say this mm -hmm. simply because you want me to say I did not say this. I said it. You get? And that's kind of person Kanye is. And of course, he's tried to, of course, apologize to him and explain exactly what he meant, but nobody's hearing him, and then that's entirely his business, I guess. But I feel like, like I, I mentioned this again on radio, I said something John Stewart said is what I feel like is the more sensible thing to go about this. He said that 
this whole idea of there being things you can't talk about to him doesn't look like a very productive way to go about this issue with the Jews mm. because of course um, Stuart himself is actually Jewish you know and I think that that's it's true he was saying you know you need to be able to like speak about it if there are certain misconceptions can we talk about it and make people understand how this is the case in Kanye's case he is saying that you know what there is something called the Jewish media and they are all over the music business and everything they have some of their some of their practices haven't benefited the black community mm. from where I'm sitting that is a statement that is entirely true but at the same time it's not entirely, it's not entirely true because it's not a case that everybody who is Jewish is involved in the music industry and they are the ones who have created all of those all of those laws yes but have they benefited from it i think nobody can argue that they certainly have mm. the corporations headed or founded by jewish people have actually benefited a lot from rap music and from mm -hmm. black culture mm -hmm. i think that is fact mm -hmm. but it's not all of them that are involved in music so you cannot accuse all of them of doing that i think that's the where the nuance comes in but saying that you can't even talk about this is where i have a big problem with it like why can't we talk about it so i'm saying so if we are going to go with what Stewart says the good thing that will happen is that okay, you call Whoopi Goldberg, just see what probably is there, maybe some other Jewish person too is there as well. You call Kanye, round table. Let us discuss these issues. We are Jews and we know what we're talking about. You are black people and you feel like you know what you're talking about. Let us figure out where everybody has an issue. Mm. Let us talk about it. Mm. But instead of saying that you cannot say certain things in public because you are a famous person, it's ridiculous. You always, you not, you might not always. But yes, once in a while, you find somebody like Kanye who is incredibly convinced of his own opinions. Mm. This is a person who said on TV about a sitting president that George Bush doesn't care about black people. Is that the kind of person you think that he wants to come and bully with taking away his money, taking away whatever? He's not that kind of. You can't win. You just it's not something that is possible. You get someone like him will stand by what they have said yeah you get and whoopi of course is somebody who's uh, you know what i just don't want this wala let me just surprise and go but clearly you can tell that she's sitting that thing in her bed because there's no reason why she would have said why were they angry about what i said earlier in general she can just let the thing go mm. but she's sitting the thing about <laughs> but you know the thing about the media just has a way of there are some journalists you meet that just find a way to they probably have had a conversation and none of these things will make the headline or anything the guy wasn't probably impressed what they've been talking about so far i just thought that okay this is an opportunity yeah, but, know, yeah, but, but yeah but yeah but just ask this just ask this thing now she could have just said you know what i already don't talk about it again exactly yes. Yes. but she did oh, <laughs> she brought it and said so well. some people are angry so i think oh, no. that's the thing but i think we should be lucky in nigeria it doesn't look like anything is off the table yeah. we can talk about a lot of things whatever to talk about you know but maybe of course Twitter people are trying to do this is where they are canceling people show so mm. who knows maybe one day to come to Nigeria. but for now while we are free we have this as our show <laughs> we shall talk about whatever we want to talk about on this show the day that people say you know what it's time to cancel maybe james we can know james will run away and say you know what i'll not do it again Me. maybe that the person that they'll cancel is easily you know it's always always the one that certainly no. says it <laughs> anyhow and um, if you like put an active net so, but that's what we do um it's the james and always show i think um with these few words of ours, we'll be yes. able to convince you and not confuse you. Ah, this is our last recorded show for, for 2022. 2022 so that so means nice, so nice. we'll be kicking up for the next one in the next, next, next year. Exactly. Yes. So I guess technically, see, see you next year. See you guys next year. <laughs> Compliments of the season. Um, Happy New Year. And I beg, if you have any um, jollof for virus parties, please um, make it clear in the comment section and I will come to your DM and you will invite me. Thank you very much. Because James has, did not do this for me at Christmas and he's married. Whatever. And James is not going to do it for me again on it's a joker. New Year. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I don't think this is how you can sustain a show when somebody has resources to like do fight and jollof rice and refuse to do it. But that's where we are. Always a joker, by the way. <laughs> he can actually cook his rice at home and eat. And I told him that you don't need to be a married man, you don't need to visit a married man to enjoy this thing. I want to be the family house. Think that, no, it doesn't matter. Family but house. In my own house. The rice is sweeter than the family time, house. In my own house. Because we eat twice every other time. Christmas days like this, we don't eat twice. But I eat a certain type of soup or delicacy. I want to eat that delicacy. That's that soup. Do. Let him invite yeah. me. You so tell him to invite start, me. No, that's not the problem. So if you had even wish to start again, say, Oh, I want to come to your oh, what first? Send me an address. Huh? I set my address. Small, small thing. Anyway, guys, no subscribe, comment. comment, like, share with your friends. Let us know what you think about our show. And we'll catch you on the next one. I'm James. And I'm Maurice. Peace. <laughs>